Everyone laughed on this black woman for buying a dilapidated house without knowing what she would find there. Emily is a figure of resilience and determination, a young woman whose life story is like a broken road filled with jagged stones and steep inclines. The departure of her father, when she was just three years old, set the stage for a series of trials. Abandoned to fend for themselves, Emily's mother clung to bottle after bottle, alcohol becoming a crutch and a comfort in a world that had stripped away the one she loved. It left Emily largely without parental guidance, raised in the haphazard care of neighbors and distant relatives. Though her past could have broken her, Emily showed an extraordinary resilience, transforming her troubled beginnings into a beacon of hope. Despite her solitary existence, a spark was ignited within her. At 17, Emily made a decision that would alter the course of her life. She decided to study law a decision fueled by her mother's shaky but constant faith in her. Even in the midst of her addiction, her mother always maintained an unwavering belief in Emily's abilities. She often told her, through slurred speech and unsteady gestures, that she had the makings of a fantastic attorney. In her pursuit of a law degree, Emily was often alone. Her life was an island, cut off from the mainland of casual friendship and youthful companionship. Instead, she found solace in the law book she had immersed herself in, each paragraph another brick in the wall she was building around herself, protecting her from the painful world outside. Emily's solitude was both a comfort and a prison, a place where she could hide from the world, but also a place where she could gather her strength, forging ahead with her studies. The world might have looked on with pity, but Emily saw it as an act of survival and, more importantly, as an act of defiance. This quiet girl, her life filled with uncertainty and strife, found purpose and focus in her journey through law school. Even as her mother's condition worsened, Emily refused to let the challenges of her personal life affect her academic ambitions. Through each difficult exam, each grueling late-night study session, Emily was steadfast in her journey. The ghosts of her past, the pain of her present, all were cast aside as she found solace in her determination in her will to prove her mother's faith in her to be justified. The beautiful irony in Emily's story is that it was the faith of a woman gripped by addiction that inspired Emily to follow the path of law. Her mother, even in her foggy, alcohol-soaked perception of the world, could see the strength in her daughter. And it was these words, however slurred or stammered, that kept Emily going, fueling her with the determination to succeed. Her mother's faith in her was Emily's most significant support, the cornerstone of her ambitions. It was her beacon in the storm, guiding her through each turbulent wave. Emily was not a product of her circumstances, but a testament to the power of determination and resilience. Even in her solitary existence, she shone brightly, proving that faith and determination could transform the pain of the past into a promising future. Emily's story is not just about survival. It's about the power of belief, resilience, and the will to rise above one's circumstances. Emily, with a steely determination and unwavering courage, began to construct her life piece by piece. Driven by her mother's indomitable faith, Emily did not just accept her circumstances, but challenged them head on. Her life was a relentless pursuit of academic excellence, interspersed with an exhausting routine of part-time jobs during the weekends. The undercurrents of financial insecurity that had tainted her childhood prepared her to amass a financial safety net, not just for herself, but also for the children she hoped to have one day. Her life was an undulating roller coaster ride. Every day, Emily found herself juggling multiple roles, a diligent student, an ardent worker, and a financial planner. On weekdays, she immersed herself in law book, her every word, every paragraph steeped in the ambition to excel. Weekends saw her transition into a dedicated employee, working part-time jobs that varied from barista to library assistant. Each task was undertaken with a fierce dedication, every paycheck a small victory against the financial struggles that haunted her past. Emily's decisions and her unorthodox approach to life often invited mockery from her peers. She was seen as an anomaly, an outlier who didn't conform to the carefree ethos of youth. But to Emily, this ridicule was unconsequential. 
she was crafting her own narrative, a life where she was the architect of her future. Each snide remark, each condescending smile, was met with an unwavering resolve that echoed a simple yet powerful truth. She was in control. She was determined that neither she nor her future children would have to taste the bitterness of the hardships that she had faced. Despite the relentless grind and the toil it took on her, Emily found solace in the fruits of her labor. Months of tireless work began to manifest in her growing bank account. Her savings, modest yet significant, were tangible proof of her independent life. They were the stepping stones towards her ultimate goal, buying her own home. Emily's dream home was not merely about owning a property. It was a symbol of her triumph over her past. It represented the security she had yearned for throughout her tumultuous childhood, a haven she could truly call her own. Every dollar saved added to her confidence, amplifying her faith in herself. Emily began to take pride in her achievements, celebrating every milestone along the way, no matter how small. This newfound sense of accomplishment and the joy it brought along sparked a transformative change in Emily. She no longer viewed her life as a series of hardships, but as a testament to her resilience and hard work. Her solitary existence was now filled with an underlying contentment, a feeling of satisfaction she hadn't experienced before. She had not just survived her past, but had used it as a launch pad for a promising future. In her quest to build a better life, Emily turned the adversities she faced into her strength. She exhibited an exceptional determination that stemmed from her desire to break free from the shadows of her past. Emily proved that it was not the circumstances that defined a person, but their reaction to those circumstances. From the relentless pursuit of her dreams to her unwavering resilience in the face of ridicule, Emily's journey was a testament to the power of determination, hard work, and an unshakable belief in oneself. She stood as a beacon of hope a symbol of how one can rise from the ashes of a troubled past to build a future filled with promise and prosperity. Amidst the bustling corridors and under the fluorescent lights of her office, Emily carved a niche for herself. She was an embodiment of dedication and hard work, qualities that did not go unnoticed. Her meticulous attention to detail, an unwavering dedication to her work, and an insatiable hunger for knowledge painted a portrait of a woman on a relentless pursuit of excellence. This endeared her to her superiors, transforming their initial indifference into respect. Alongside this growing professional regard, Emily also found herself forming bonds of friendship within her workplace. However, the office space was not just about professional accolades and camaraderie for Emily, it was within these walls that she found herself drawn towards a colleague, James. James was an enigma, a puzzle that she longed to solve. His aloof demeanor did little to deter her increasing fatuation, yet her subtle advances and overtures were met with a seemingly indifferent response. James' apparent disregard caused a wave of discouragement to sweep over Emily, a feeling she was unaccustomed to. Convinced that sharing her grandiose ambition of buying a house would pique James' interest, Emily decided to make her dreams public. It was a decision that reflected her desperation to break through this facade of indifference. However, this disclosure was met with a response she had not anticipated. Instead of admiration, her revelation was met with scornful laughter, and her dream was dismissed as a far-fetched fantasy. Her colleagues, emboldened by their misguided assumptions, ridiculed her. They could not comprehend how Emily, on her modest salary, could possibly amass the wealth required to purchase a property. Yet, Emily was no stranger to mockery. She had faced and overcome it before. The sting of their mockery was dulled by the armor of her determination and self-belief. Emily didn't allow their doubt to become her own. Their disbelief did not dissuade her, but instead it fueled her resolve. Emily understood that she alone was the architect of her reality. She was used to others underestimating her, and each time she had proven them wrong. This would be no different. She embarked on the mission to find her dream home with a sense of fervor. Each open house she attended, each property she inspected, was a step closer to her dream. Emily had a clear vision of her dream house, not a mansion of extravagance, but a cozy abode that echoed with the warmth of security and independence. 
As she walked through the hallways of potential homes, as she visualized her furniture in the living rooms and her books on the shelves, her dream was no longer a distant reality, but a tangible goal within her grasp. Despite the whispers of derision that followed her, Emily moved forward undeterred. The journey was not just about buying a property. It was a testament to her will, her unwavering determination, and her grit. Her mission, her pursuit of her dream home, was a quiet rebellion against the preconceived notions of those around her. Emily's journey was a manifestation of her relentless spirit. It was a reflection of her unwavering belief in her ability to shape her own destiny, no matter how daunting the odds stacked against her were. In the ceaseless pursuit of her dream, Emily found herself navigating through the labyrinth of property listings, when she happened upon an unexpected find, a grand, albeit neglected, Victorian mansion. The mansion, nestled in a quiet corner of town, was listed at an attractively reasonable price. Its magnificence was faded by years of neglect, but beneath its dilapidated exterior, Emily glimpsed the specter of a beautiful abode. The Victorian-style mansion, with its ornate trims, high ceilings, and aged elegance, captured her heart in an instant. It was a behemoth that bore the scars of time, but she saw not the run-down walls and the crumbling architecture, but the enormous potential it possessed. The mansion was a canvas on which she could paint her dreams, and so, after considering her options meticulously, Emily took a leap of faith and decided to purchase the house. The announcement was met with mixed reactions. Her mother, still laboring under the cloud of disbelief, struggled to reconcile the audacious reality of her daughter buying a mansion. Her colleagues scoffed at what they saw as an imprudent decision, unable to comprehend Emily's vision beyond the derelict state of the property. However, none of their skepticism could puncture Emily's bubble of confidence. She was not just purchasing a property, she was investing in a dream. With the keys in her hands and determination in her heart, Emily embarked on the renovation journey. The mansion was like an intricate novel, each room a chapter filled with history and potential. As she scrubbed the floors, cleared the cobwebs, and breathed new life into the mansion, Emily felt an exhilarating sense of ownership and pride. It was during one of these cleanup sessions that Emily stumbled upon an unexpected relic. Hidden away in one of the rooms, partially covered with dust and cobwebs, was a mysterious portrait. It was an exquisite painting featuring a woman who bore an uncanny resemblance to Emily. The woman in the portrait was dressed in vintage clothing, a stark contrast to Emily's modern attire, and yet the similarities were uncanny. It was as if time had folded up upon itself, revealing a connection to a past Emily had no conscious knowledge of. The discovery sent shivers down Emily's spine. How is it possible for a stranger from a bygone era to bear such a striking resemblance to her? It was an enigma, a mysterious thread woven into the tapestry of her new home. Yet, despite the perplexity, Emily felt an inexplicable affinity towards the portrait and the woman it depicted. Her new home was no longer just a dilapidated mansion that she had decided to renovate. It was now a mysterious entity teeming with secrets waiting to be unraveled. Despite the growing enigma, Emily's resolve to transform the mansion did not waver. If anything, the discovery of the portrait only deepened her connection to the mansion. It was no longer just a house. It had become a piece of her story, entwined with her past, present, and possibly her future.